Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CJOB video. Today I created this basic project tile effect with this speed dust effect. And this is the reference I found on Pinterest. I'll put the link in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. If you like this video, like, share and comment. And let's start this tutorial. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So I have found this effect on Pinterest. I'll put the link in the description. So this is just an image. I think if I click here, maybe this is GIF. Let me check. okay so this is just uh, image so let's say let's see what we can do with the animation so first we need a mesh like this so in Maya I'll quickly create a mesh I'll take a slender sorry slender and in this I'll put some segments and delete the top and bottom and first of all just set the UVs to normalize normalize so it will fit that grid and then I'll just work on it Just undo another one segment. And one more here, I will add one here. And maybe one here. So I think this is enough yeah and here i can add one more very close to this end and then i can scale this down although we will not see the back of this in this effect if we put the same camera so okay you can smooth this if you want just smooth Actually, I'm not smoothing it, I'm just adding some segments. That's it. Okay, we will change up if we will not like this. So now I'll put this, move this to the here. So the pivot will be here on the tip of this effect. Okay we can now scale rotate everything from this point okay so now just um, freeze this edit the history and export this selection export this to desktop projectile and in this folder i'll import that desktop So here's a material M project time. I'll put with that mesh here and this. 
okay so if you want to make the similar it has the bottom red then a black and here's white and there is a noise in between so first we need a bottom red so I just use a texture coordinate and if you preview this you can see the channel so you can mask I'll mask the red channel mm, green actually so you have this and then I can take that step node So you have this and you can invert this if you want so you have now the base white and this is the black or you can just uh, change the values here if you want so like this is 0.1 at 0.5 it is almost center and then 0 0.7 0 0.8 okay so now we can use LARP and we want in black we want a red color not very saturated but like this okay and in white we will use our this thing this black and this white so for that I will again use this thing this gradient if i preview you can see it has black and white thing so we can take a texture t uh, sorry u and u what i'm doing okay t and aura or maybe just noise you can take so let's say i just take the noise this one and i'll preview this noise first and then I set the tiling okay and now I will add this noise to this gradient then we can use again step see we have this thing and we can make it like 50 so it will have lines like this but I think 50 is too much maybe 30 and this looks similar so you can add two textures you can just take this again control D and in this one you can make it 20 and in this one maybe 40 different tiling and then add these together or and also you can add this thing if you want so you'll have this random and then you have this so but we need the base is black then this is white and that is we have already so we will add this to here so we have red black and this white okay and this white is bright from the very tip so what we can do we have this gradient so we can invert this gradient so there will be white in the top and then we can use the power and increase the value maybe 10 maybe 15 and this thing I will add to the emissive so it will be little bright okay we can make the parameter to even make it glowy so that's it for now so let's save this so now we will create the first I will create actually a label like this so I will create a label map open this map and take a uh, exponent iPhone and 
gray color okay and then I'll, I'll have I'll create the Niagara FX in this this will be like a bullet and I'll use that mesh and the material this M project right save and we don't need these parameters these modules we just need one particle and light should be infinite so first this should spawn just one then light should be infinite so just untick this and then scale unset this unset this and the match scaling maybe I'll make it 10 and then initial rotation and just make it none and 0.5 90 degree save this make this local and drag it in the viewport F so we have this thing but this doesn't look the same material what happened let me check so this look same here but not here because of the lighting only the uh, MEC part is visible so you can just take the light okay I, I have just one light for now and now you can use update mesh orientation and you can rotate it on you see okay and now we need this base so what I will do I will create a material M dust and we will use some material set some textures and I will make it unlit to side it transform so U and then T texture and I will take some textures like this blur noise then one more like this aura okay and we will use a pen to pen it and connect it here And then we can make we can make some parameters like first for tiling, then dissolve, and then here I will say the dynamic parameter. So this is my tiling, and tiling uh, we can use x y different, or we can stress the particle. So let's say just one parameter and then this will be our dissolve and that's it particle color we need just save it so I'll use this here so I'll duplicate this or maybe I can add one more fountain and this will be I'll just move it down this is a base dust, dust. and then we need this material and I have also misnamed it dust and this will be here yeah. I'll use the box uh, oh, we have already shaped location we can use the box here 
and let's disable delete the uh, gravity and velocity turn off so we have this box you can see so I'll decrease the size on height so it will be just flat and then we can increase it on X and then this will go backward so we need the velocity linear and the velocity axis will be Y so I will randomize it also so on Y it will be like 500 300 maybe then I will use the velocity alignment here and then we can stretch this so I'll turn off the mass and I can stretch it like 500 300 and here it will be like 100 okay but this has now a volume but here this is look like flat and one more thing this is very sharp cutting from the all of sides so you can take you can take actually just a radial thing else and in radial I will choose the density as a parameter and multiply this radial with this okay so just save this so now already you can see the difference and tiling is same so we need a landing parameter and randomize the tiling 2.5 and 1 then dissolve is 0 let's make it 2 and this density so we have this density let's make it 1 we can make it 5 so I'll just randomize this also so 1 to 5 and then color will be so there is a black edges and that's why because we have multiplied this texture with color so I'll just connect it directly here now you can see and we can randomize the color thing now I don't want to randomize the color to the shading so it will be like 2 this will be like 1 and 0.5 or 0.2 also so you can see we have this part going dust that is already look cool so we can we can do one more thing that is we can move this whole box down so this is the z direction we can move up and down oh. there is also offset here we can move it down a little bit maybe this much or yeah this much and I'll also increase the X size even more so it will cover the whole scene and we can focus on it I'll quickly add a post make it infinite ok so now I can more focus we can increase the spawn rate it is 90 let's make it 150 for now okay so now in the FX and we have this bullet material and we have this MEC part that is going here so what I'll do I'll take a particle color oh sorry particle color and of course I will multiply this to particle color and to control the power we can use just the opacity of particle color so just save this so now if you'll see here this is completely white from here because if I isolate this we have the alpha 1 we can make it 2 5 and then we can change the color of tip like this so I will use a bright yellow and then we can increase the alpha to make it only on the tip so this is now brighter 
okay and this look look very short so let's increase the size on z so i'll make it non uniform and this was 10 10 but on the z i will make it maybe 15 let it come by i'll make it 15 so it will be a little longer and i think that's actually 13 is enough okay cool and now we need this thing okay so for that we have already opened Maya and we can just we can just delete this part and then we can adjust this mesh like this and the scale is little bit and this also and I will go to the UVs and this is before deleted some part so normalize it again and there is some less segment here so I will again add some segment and make it even roundish even more so I will again add this part is quite roundish now and then we are good to go and export this again and this will be like mm, con con okay just con desktop con and i'll quickly import that here con okay so we we will create a material i'll just duplicate this m projectile by control d and call it m Um, this is like what is this this is actually speed effect uh, of this projectile so we will just call it speed common so I'll open this and I'll preview that con mesh And we ju I'll just need some. So we have this noise. I'll just connect it to MSC for now. And this is actually just faded and little fernail also. So what I'll do actually, I'll take a fernail and let's preview this okay then we need a power okay then we need the texture coordinate and take the mask green channel then I will invert this and take the power again so we have this then we will multiply this with the funnel And then we have this texture. So let's preview these. And I just want like 2, 1, 1.5. One. Let's see how it looks. We can use banner. And actually, I'll change the texture to Aura. This and just copy this and paste it here. I'll just have to delete this. Okay. Point two. Point three. And also, we can add banner with a random speed, of course. This will be like 0.5, and this is actually negative minus 1 and minus 
different speed then we can multiply this whole thing with this we have this fresnel and the mask so we have this okay and just connect it here and in the fresnel i will decrease it even more and i need actually bright fresnel so i'll just take the power one more time here and this time this is two so i adjust the bright edges and i will multiply this with like 10 okay and then actually first i'll multiply this with this gradient so it will cut it out and then i'll multiply this with 10 and i will add this over all my effects so i will have bright edges so we have bright edges and fresnel cool and now we can use our particle color here and this will be translated and edit actually let's make it edited save this and i'll just duplicate this bullet control d this is my speed con and i'll use this con mesh and then speed con material here so it has the same size that's why and let's make this what color it is purple and not this much five or two and we can create the size 2020 it will be like this but now this will be shorter and this will be like 15 15 or maybe 12 12 It has very you know faded bottom that we don't have so this was the for the fade bottom so I'll make some parameters fade bottom just one for now if you'll need I'll create more and now we can this much is enough okay and I'll do one more thing uh, I'll instead of burst I'll take the spawn rate and I'll make this infinite and life also will not be infinite and let's say this is 1 and 0.5 spawn rate maybe 5 okay and then I'll take the scale mesh and render my first you need to make it float then randomize it so 1.8 and then also scale color and you can just use the curve fade in fade out and one more thing I'll take the scale size again control D oh this just to be the diameter so control C and B so in this scale I'll just reset this and mm, break this actually and on Z I'll use the curve and X Y will remain 1 so this will be like this but not from 0 it will be like 1 to 1.5 or oh, yeah that's it and life I'll make it even shorter and size variation very very low point 
29 and this will be like 1.2 So it shows the speed of this now. Okay. And this is very broad actually. Maybe 20, 20, 20. Okay. So now we need glow here, a ring, then a flare. Okay. So First we need a glow here, so I'll just duplicate this, not this, this broadly, and this will be glow. And here I will use a radial. Actually, radial additive, soft and I don't need any parameter drag I need this fade and fade out and no velocity no square location so we have this here and this should not be velocity aligned and the size should be uniform so there's a glow here and the color of course will be purple actually well, this actually pinkish. Okay, so I will increase the size now. And actually, alpha will be very down. So maybe. 0.1 and 0.5 spawn rate oh it should be like 15 so there is a glow you can see okay here then we need actually this glow should be very whitish Now we need a glare and also it has a trail so we can make first trail so I'll just duplicate this material which is this M speed cone control D M trail so we have these two textures I don't need these things for now and I'll change the direction 0 0.2 0 0.5 and just connect it here and dialing I'll reverse this this will be 0 0.3 2 and 0 0.2 1.5 .1 and let's just save this in here I will duplicate this glow control D and this will be like trail isolate this and delete the sprite render and I'll take the ribbon and I'll use this material and we need a velocity on y axis linear so that's a hundred you can see this trail spawn rate is 15 and life should not be random maybe one and then here we can increase the size of ribbon okay so if i actually this is going up because of this okay so we have just one direction and we can use the tube instead of just the planer so you can see the tube and of course we can make it let's make it Purple and this is fading, and I can increase the opacity. And also, I'll make a parameter here, dynamic parameter, 
and this is for dissolve so now we can dissolve it little bit like this and this is already fading but uh, we need this and then also the panning is wrong wrong direction so we need to make it negative so now okay and you can use curl noise if you want but there will be some random moment like this which I'll make it 100 and maybe it's a little bit 10 so slightly and this is cutting through this so we can just use the dev fade and just multiply this now this is fading so we have also trail it looks very slow so we can just double the speed minus 0.6 minus 1.2 yeah now it's okay and also because trail has some issue here so i'll just go to the system properties and just fix the tick so it will be the same so what we left we have created this we it has also this black trail inside it so for that you just need to make this trail translant just save this and go to your effect duplicate your trail control d and in this one i'll make the life 1.5 make this black and then decrease the size like this oh maybe this much And this is starting from here, both trails. There should be some offset. So I forgot that. So here I will make this Y maybe 50. 50 is too much. Uh, 30. And also this one. 30. Okay. So it's fixed. And now. Uh, what else this flare and so I'll just duplicate this glow control D I'll make it flare isolate this one now and I will turn off the random rotation and use the this and this will be like 10, 10, 5 and I'll stretch it on X let's check the size it is too much 180 this is like 3 and 5 and then the color will be little saturated and also it has the same size every time uh, because of the life you need to make it 0 0.3, 0 0.1 so it will flicker like this and I'll make the size even smaller okay and then I'll duplicate this flare control D again and this time I will reduce the size to this much maybe 20 and 10 and then turn on the random rotation so it will be like this and we can increase the spawn rate and then maybe and I'll make it 1 so it will be visible here actually that glow is too much so I will decrease that globe and make it 10 and also size 
20 and 5 okay we just need a ring so I'll just quickly create a material M ring and this ring is also cutting from some parts so first uh, I'll just take a radial and I take a vector to radial and preview this okay then step I'll take a texture blur and add this here we need a one minus and then two We can also decrease this density to 21.5. And actually, instead of a stack, let's use the power. First, we need to make this thinner like this then we can multiply these together and then multiply with a higher number like 10 and then we can saturate it okay and with this uh, actually even more so it will be like this and then I'll make some parameters uh, dynamic parameter first I'll use density which is default one then dissolve and then this is how sharp is this sharp and then particle size I'll use it as translant and let to side save this browse this and and in FX I'll duplicate this glow copy and paste it here isolate this and I'll change the material then take the dynamic parameter default density will be 1 dissolve will be a 0 and sharpness will be like 100 so we have this ring and with this dissolve we can dissolve this okay so at what value a 7 it is dissolving so I'll make the curve and make it from 0 to 7 okay and the size will be same 20 and 18 and then I'll make it more sharp and with density I'll decrease the thickness so it will be like this actually life will be very short 0 0.3 0 0.2 and the size I'll make it let's check it okay so size will be like 50 and 45 actually 40 and 30 and I'll increase alpha 5 or maybe 10 actually let's make it live run Yeah, 
so now almost things are done we can just use our pause to add glow more so we can use it accumulation or just the standard one and we can also use the global contrast And this pattern on the bullet I don't like much so this pattern this so what I do to uh, this is what I have so Yeah, this is even better, but I'll rotate it very fast. This bullet, maybe 10 or 5. Yeah. And then I'll copy this glow, copy and paste it again. And I'll make this offset 30 and then take the sphere location, actually shape location with the sphere and make like 10, 5, then velocity on y axis, randomize it, 200 and 100 and the size, I will use velocity aligned a 1 5 10 20 so there will be some particles emitting from there and this fading fade out should be like and space size maybe 10 and I'll make them bright 50, 10, and the size will be like 0 0.1, 1, 2, 5, and spawn rate maybe 100, and slightly curl noise, not much, 50 I think, And then you can duplicate it one more time. In this one, I'll reduce the spawn rate to maybe 10, remove the curl noise, and increase the speed very high. And then I'll increase the size maybe 50, 20, 3. So there will be some very fast lines. Right now. And there's this flash glow that so I'll again duplicate this glow, this one, copy and paste it here. This time I just need a flash material. Let me check if I have already. like this one so i'll show you the material very easy material just a texture uh, avoid this you can just directly connect it here okay so we have this i'll just browse uh, i am using already so and i'll make the size maybe 50 and 20 and when the rotation is already there so 
yeah now it looks better so that's it you can do lots of things I did very fast very quickly so you can take time you can improve things but the basic idea is how to use this and implement it here one more thing I'll do I'll copy this speed gone copy and paste it here so in this one I'll actually randomize the scale even more 0.5 and Two and the spawn rate may be 10 and this thing even more maybe 1.5 and then I will just fade it so uh, I'll make the alpha 1 and here I'll even more I'll fade it 8.2 and 0.1 I think even more I need and in dynamic parameter, I'll reduce this and I make it maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and this will be like 1. Point 1. So, very subtle just to fill this up and actually 1 and Yeah, just to fill, there will be a little impact of that, not much. So that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.